In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to improve the speed of your WooZone Amazon affiliate website. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm over at Boot Boutique. Um, I'm sure you've seen this website before. It's the one, as I say, that I created in the Amazon affiliate uh, main tutorial. So I'm over at Boot Boutique, and uh, let's just click around and just see how long things are taking to load. So we can see there is a slight delay in terms of when you click around, loading products, loading categories, that sort of thing. So ideally, we want these pages to load a bit quicker. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the speed of this site so we've got some sort of benchmark to work from and improve on. So I'm just gonna copy the URL and then in this tab, I've got uh, Google's page speed tool open. Uh, you can find it yourself by just going to Google and searching for uh, page speed or something like that. I'll put a link in the description so you can find it there too. Anyway, I'm gonna click Run Insights. So I'm just gonna paste the URL into that box and click Analyze. takes a few seconds just to scan the site and do whatever analysis it does. And then it's gonna give us a score out of 100 in terms of how fast the site is running. So here's our score. The first uh, one is the mobile one. It's given us a score of 37 out of 100. It's given us some tips down here which we can, we can take a look at. For the desktop, we've got a score of 27 out of 100, which is pretty bad. It's red, so that's bad. You really want it to be green or at least yellow. So the first thing I'm gonna do, if we go back to uh, Boot Boutique, is I'm gonna update WooZone again. I noticed just the other day that they had released a new version and uh, some of the features of that new version were speed improvements. So I think that would be a good place to start. Uh, I'm sure you know how to do this because you've seen it in my previous videos, but let's open a new tab. To run your update, you need to go over to Theme Forest or Code Canyon or any of those. Go into your downloads, find your uh, WooZone. There it is. I think it's called WZone now, actually. I don't know why that is, anyway. Uh, download uh, all files and documentation. Let me just find somewhere to put that. Uh, create a new folder, just so I can find the file. Download it. And then extract the zip file that you just downloaded. So let's open that up. In there you'll see uh, the version number. So this one is 9.0.4.4. Let's go back to the website and let me just see what version I'm running at the moment. And go into here, into WooZone. So we're on 9.0. 0 0.4, so they've added another four on the end while I quit. Interesting. So yeah, to run the update, we need to go into plugins and just disable this and then uninstall and then upload a new one. So I've gone into plugins and installed plugins. Scroll down, find WooZone, deactivate. Scroll down again and then delete. Okay, and then if we go up to the top and go to Add new. By the way, this message at the top, if you see that, it's not often uh, the, something you need to worry about. Generally, it's just 
they'll update Kingdom soon and it will it'll fix it. So I'm just going to close that on a side note there. But anyway, yeah, add new, and then I'm going to click upload plugin, and then I'm going to choose the zip file that I just downloaded. And the one I want is actually within this 9.0.4.4 folder. You find another folder in there called plugin, and there it is, woozone.zip. Don't upload the one that you've downloaded from um, Code Canyon, that won't work. You do have to extract it and then upload the zip file within that one. So there we go, that's done. So I've reactivated um, WooZone and we've got 9.0.4.4 now. So let's just see if that's had any effect on this. We can just click Analyze again, so we can get a better score. I think it's actually just gone down, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, so that's not made a huge amount of difference. So let's try some other things. We just go back to the site actually and just click around and see if it's, it seems any faster. I've got to say it feels a little bit faster even if uh, Google doesn't think so. Let's just run this again, maybe it got stuck or something. Thirty-eight now, twenty-four. It's still not fast enough. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install a plugin, a performance plugin, to um, do some caching on the site and also uh, a few other features that are quite important when you want to uh, speed up your site, including things like GZIP. So the plugin I'm going to recommend. Let's just go uh, into dashboard and then go to plugins and add new. The plugin I'm going to recommend is called WP Fastest Cache. So just type that into the search box. It's this one here with the uh, leopard. Click Install Now. And then click Activate. Okay, and that adds these options down here on the left hand side. Let's just take a look. So the first thing I'm gonna do is enable the cache system. I'm going to tick this box so that it doesn't show the cache version for logged in users. That could cause problems um, for logged in users. So yeah, you want to tick that box. Uh, I'm going to tick that one so that it clears the cache when uh, a new post or page is published. And when a post or page is updated, I'm going to tick clear all cache on there. I'm going to tick minify HTML. I'm going to tick minify CSS. I'm going to tick Combine CSS, I'm going to tick GZIP, and I'm going to tick Browser Caching, and then I'm going to click Submit. There's quite a few things we turned on there. So again, let's go back to Google Page Speed and just see what's happened. I'm hoping that we should see a bit more of an uplift now, but who knows, let's have a look. Okay, so we're on 34 now, which is a few points less than we started with, uh, which is not great. Um, I wonder if it's just because the cache needs to build up and, uh, and that sort of thing. But maybe, hopefully, and also um, the speed that your server responds is gonna vary depending on lots of factors. So yeah, don't worry too much about that, but basically we're not making the improvements that I'd like to. And I think one of the biggest reasons for that is these images. So if we just look at these should fix uh, pointers, if we look at here, my slider images, which are these two, the knee-high boots and the class and style image, are massive. They're too big for images, really. So if we could save, you know, 400K there, 300K there, which is quite a lot. And on this one, Gabor, which is one of the logos in the, the logo slider thing, that's also pretty big. So in terms of optimizing images, 
Uh, if you've only got a couple like this, then the best way to do it is um, just do it manually with your graphics package. So I'll show you how to optimise these images. Uh, now I'm gonna use Fireworks, but you can use any graphics package that you happen to have to hand. I'm just gonna optimise these because I think that's gonna make a big difference. Now if you've got a lot of images, you can use a, a, a plugin, like a Smush plugin, I think they're called. Um, have a search around, there's a good one on WPMU, which is a paid for service, but they've got a, a smushing thing. One thing to keep in mind though is that the images that you serve for your products, they are all stored on Amazon if you run the latest version of WooZone and you've got the remote images function running. So you can't do anything with those. Uh, the ones that are getting picked up here by Google are literally the ones that you've got in your slider on your homepage, that sort of thing. I hope that all makes sense. So let me find this knee high boots on my computer. I've got it in here, I think. Uh, knee high boots, there it is. So I'm going to drop that into Fireworks, which I say is the piece of graphic software that I use. And I can make it uh, smaller in terms of file size, but if I go into Image Preview, I can adjust it here and say JPEG better quality. I've got it down to 191K from 600K, which is good. And I can obviously, if I turn the quality down even further, um, I'm going to get an even smaller file. Obviously, you don't want to turn it down too much because the picture will start to look rubbish, basically. But I think for this, that's fine. Let's go for that. I really want to get the speed up. I'm not too worried about the quality. So knee-high boots, let's call it knee-high boots, uh, small file. Let me just save that back where it came from, which was in here. Got lots of mess on my computer. And what was the other one called? It was called class and style. So oh, it's right there, look. Let's drop that into Fireworks. Photoshop and other graphics packages will have a similar export image preview sort of feature where you can adjust the quality, get the file size down. So that one's down to 108. I bet if I go down to 60, it'll be down to, I don't know, 50, something like that. Perfect, that'll do, 63%. So let's save that as class and so a small file. Then I need to update these images on my slider. The other one was Gabor, that logo. I'm gonna leave that for now. I may come and tweak that uh, in future. So yeah, let's go into uh, Slider Revolution. Uh, what's all this? Close, close, close. Okay, so here's my homepage slider. Let's click on the pencil to edit the slides. So let's edit this one first, which is the knee-high boots. Click change image, upload and find that new optimized image, there it is. Oh, I right click there accidentally, let's insert that. Let's click the save. And let's do slide number two. Let's change the image. There we go, class and style, let's optimized file. Let's insert, Ooh, what am I doing? There we go. So let's go back and run Insights again. Let's see what difference that has made. Hopefully some. <laughs> it's not going up quite as quick as I thought it would, our page speed score, but um, it is a tricky thing. Oh, there we go, look, 47, that's quite a big jump. So now it says the most important thing is the server response time. Now the server response time is determined by your hosting and if you're using the hosting that I recommended, you're probably with HostGator, which is what Boot Boutique is on, that is still on HostGator. And HostGator are absolutely fine. Uh, for the money, they offer a great service. However, uh, because they are quite a cheap host, it means that your website is gonna be on a server with thousands of thousands of other sites, which means it's probably not gonna run as fast as maybe it could. So if you really wanna get your site running at a super fast speed, you're gonna to need to move to a different host and this means you're gonna to need to spend a bit more money on hosting. So it's a trade off between speed and cost. If you have got a bit more money and you do want to invest in faster hosting, then I would recommend a company called WP Engine. I'll put a link up on the screen now. Uh, it's an affiliate link, thank you very much if you use it. And these guys offer a really fast uh, WordPress uh, only sort of hosting system, however, it does cost quite a bit more than HostGator. I think your starter package is coming at 29 a month. So yeah, a bit more than HostGator. But you will definitely see an improvement in performance if you do go with WP Engine. I'm not gonna do that right now. 
um, because it takes a bit of time. But it is actually really easy to move. You just install a plugin onto your site and it, it does it all for you. So there's not a lot we can, oh, I'm gonna go back to page speed. There's not a lot we can really do about the response time, say, unless you move host. This render blocking JavaScript, um, again, that's quite tricky to uh, to fix. You're gonna need to maybe um, move some stuff around or invest in a different uh, caching sort of plugin. Um, but that's a bit tricky. So our desktop uh, hasn't got that warning. It's just uh, the images again that are slowing things down. So that's picked up a different one, real Ugg boots. Ah, that's from the blog post, I think, isn't it? So I could optimize that one too. But I kind of, I think, and apart from that, the odd, the odd image, there's not a lot more I can do in terms of getting the site any faster bar moving my hosting. Let's just go and take a look at the site. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log out because that way we'll get the, the cached high speed version in theory. <laughs> we just see if it feels faster because that's really what I'm going for. Um, so earlier I was clicking onto this category. So that does seem to be loading quicker for me. So that does seem to be loading a bit quicker. I don't think there's a lot more we can really do. As I say, bar from moving hosting, uh, I think that's probably about as fast as we're gonna get it. I'd love to hear how you get on optimizing your site. Let me know your page speed scores. That would be really interesting. But for now, I think that's it. If you're not already a subscriber to WP Eagle, then please do uh, subscribe by clicking on the eagle that will appear just up there. And if you click on the little bell icon that's next to the subscribe button, you will then be notified whenever I upload a video, which is kind of cool. In the meantime, if you're looking for something else to watch, then here is a, another video from my channel that's been specially selected just for you. I hope you enjoy it, but until next time, bye for now.